Hi everyone and welcome to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came on my channel today and if you are new my name is Teresa. Today's video is going to be some thrift flips. Now that we are in winter time it's a great time to be working on some projects that we can put out for spring because spring is just around the corner. So I'm going to show you some thrift flips and some yard sale finds and they're all pretty much one dollar items and I'm going to show you how I transform them and I'm going to put them into my spring decor when spring, spring gets here and I'm also going going to show you a cute little um, heart garland that I'm going to make out of drop cloth. Very inexpensive ideas today. I'm just going to give y'all some decorating inspiration. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I also want to mention this is part one and I plan to put part two out on Saturday. So stay tuned for that video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram, and also go over and follow me on Pinterest. Project number one that I worked on is this beautiful metal tray. And in most of the projects you'll see today, I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Flat White Primer Spray Paint. This is the tray. I got this at a yard sale for $1. It's very heavy. It's very nice made. It's very nice quality. So basically, I'm just going to spray paint it, and then I'm going to stage it for you just to show you some ways of how you can use these flat trays in your home. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Okay, project number two is going to be another little, um, it's going to be a little pedestal riser. This is, I don't know, silver plated. I don't think it's pewter, but I picked this up at either a yard sale or thrift store. I can't remember. And I think I paid $1 for it. It's got very nice detail on it. And again, I spray painted it with the same spray paint. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can style this and use this cute little um, tray and riser for the springtime. All right, project number three, I'm going to show y'all how to make a cute little heart garland. And you just want to take um, any kind of heart pattern that you have for the size of hearts you want to make to put on your garland. And I'm using uh, drop cloth for this um, project because I feel like it's going to fray really good on the edges. And that's what I'm going for. And I cut out six. You'll actually, you'll have 12 because you'll have a front and a back for each heart. And you just want to go around and you want to hot glue the edges. And you want to leave enough uh, of some on the outer edge so we can go back and fray that because that little frayed look is really going to make the heart come together and I've made these little hearts before in several um, of my videos but you leave an opening and then you just want to go in and stuff it and um, just you know stuff it down in the bottom first and then just go around in all those little you know grooves and corners and get those stuffed really well once you have it stuffed really good of how you like it, then just go in and just hot glue that little seam back up. 
And then with my fingers, I'm just going to go around the edges and I'm going to fray it. And like I say, this drop cloth I use frays really good. And I have some drop cloth um, in my Amazon store. So if you're interested, I'll have my Amazon store link down below. Now once you get the edges frayed, some of them will be a little bit long and stringy. So just go around with your scissors and just kind of trim it up. And then we're going to add some little straps to the back and we're going to add it on to some twine and make the garland. And to do the little straps on the back, I'm going to use three inches. And this is going to be a piece of the drop cloth hem. And this, I use this on a lot of projects. Never throw your hem of your drop cloth away. And then just hot glue it and make a loop out of it. And then on the back, you just want to attach it right there under that little, um, you know, that little groove in the top of your heart. Now at first I put the straps in the middle of the heart, but once I put them on the twine, they didn't hang good. So this was the best way that I could figure out to hang the hearts. And actually I like it this way. Now I displayed this on the open shelving in my kitchen and I absolutely love it. These little hearts right here are so much fun to make. So this is a really fun project. And you can add embellishments to them if you want to. I started to, because um, y'all know what an embellisher I am. But I kind of, I liked them like this. And later on, I can always go, you know, go and add to them. Maybe for Easter or something, I may. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? Okay, project number four. This is going to be another thrift store flip. This is a silver, I don't know if it's silver plated, but anyway, I think it's a candle holder. So I just took it outside and I spray painted it with that same white primer spray paint by Rust-Oleum. I did not distress it. I started to, but I liked the way it looked after I got it painted, so I didn't. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to, and make sure to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. I'm showing you here how, you know, you can layer your decor. I used the flat tray, and then I used a little pedestal riser, and now I'm putting the little candle holder on top of it. So, always remember when you're decorating, you know, it's all about layering your decor and just add in all those little special details. The little Peter Cottontail metal sign in the back, I purchased that from Ross. And I'm staging this with the silk hydrangea heads that I featured in my previous video, and I'll leave a link to it down below. But all of these things, you know, many of the things you see that I add to my staging um, areas, like my florals and stuff, I'll have all those listed in my Amazon store. I just want to give you a little bit more decorating inspiration. Some of these items I featured in my previous video and I'll have that linked below. But I want to show you this cute little blanket ladder I purchased from Dollar General. This little ladder is probably three to four foot tall. Uh, it was $18. So it was very affordable and I'm already enjoying it. I'm going to stage it some more in part two. So you'll see it again, but I have paired it with some things um, that I've, I've DIY'd, that rack I made and the heart wreath. Um, I've got a video on those. The little tea towel with the rabbit, I purchased that on Etsy last year, and I have really enjoyed him. I'm already getting my rabbits out, and I've, I've got my rabbits and my hearts out right now.
I'm just giving you some decorating ideas of things that you can do and things you can add in your home that will get us through to springtime. Now I'm going to show you a little Valentine vignette that I made. Get out those little love notes. This is some love notes I have saved since I was in the sixth grade. I had a um, guy that he was so sweet to me and he wrote me love letters all the time and he put them in my locker at school. And I have saved those all these years. So if Taunus is watching my videos, <laughs> I've always wondered what happened to him and where he went. But anyway, get your little love notes out. Spread those out because it is almost Valentine's and, you know, just put all those things that you know mean something to you like i've got these old letters from my dad and pictures from my dad and one of those little little bible books that was my mom's and you know decorate your vintage pieces that you have and you know you can pick up old typewriters and things like that really inexpensive a lot of times at yard sales and you can also find them you know at thrift stores so i hope y'all enjoyed the video today and if you did, like I say, please hit that bell notification. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And I plan to put out part two on Saturday. So as always, y'all, I love each and every one of y'all. I so appreciate all of your comments. And everyone is just always so sweet to me and sending me such sweet notes. Y'all keep me going. So I love you and I'll see y'all in my next video.